In Cornwall, one of the last strongholds of witchcraft, is a museum whose collection shows the persistent hold it has on people. Letters such as this, and images like this one, are received by Cecil Williamson from people who have been bewitched. They ask for help, which, when he can, he gives. He started his collection with these remains of a famous witch in the Isle of Man. They had been burnt with her and buried with her for 300 years. Her cauldron. in which she ground the magic powders. The griddle on which with these tongs she placed the spells and charms to bake. Boiling water from this kettle scalded the potion she made for her many clients. These are the remains of the last witch to be executed in England. The large nails used to keep her down in the grave lie beside her. In another part of the museum are the modern witches and their instruments. This witch, with her familiar, a jackdaw, lives and practices in the new forest. Many of the objects used for altars, casting spells and working magic, come from all over the world, India being a favourite source. Ram's horns are always a recurrent theme, here converted into miniature altars. Musical instruments particularly bells, are often used, the magic transmitted on the waves of sound. The ram again, surrounded with all the paraphernalia of a magic circle. The witch's cradle. On this, Intoxicating fumes billowing up from the burner underneath, a witch is laid, naked, alone. She waits for Lucifer, an offering to him from her coven. To seal their allegiance to the cult at the end of a ceremony, in this case a black mass, the priest was obliged to have intercourse with the female initiates. Unable to cope with the numbers, in the dim lighting an artificial phallus was used. Many witches at their trials confessed that the devil was cold and painful. One of the most fascinating sections of the museum, a monument to the intensity of hate and the recourse to witchcraft for its implementation, is this one, Modern Images.
Images of the hated victim, pins slowly and viciously stuck into the limbs and parts where pain is to be inflicted. Baptism from the bottles of holy water on either side creates greater bondage to the victim. The figures can be made from white wax, obtainable at any chemist's, or better, the traditional beeswax and pitch. Hair or nail clippings from the victim, like the holy water, help the connection to the image. Sometimes, organs from animals are made to substitute for the victim. These are pierced and mutilated. The corresponding organs of the victim suffer. every shape and size, realistic and symbolic. A shoe with a knot of wool to trip up the owner. A victim's glove, stuffed and pinned. The bird sacrifice in this shoe is intended to bring death. And with every stitch, the victim's name was called aloud. Her photograph stuck on and pierced. Someone who suffered in hospital wants revenge on their nurse. A husband's mistress. The women's branch of the armed forces is a rich source of these images. Photography has provided a modern way of capturing the spirit of the victim, yet still the old methods of pinning and burning are used. But magic and witchcraft today are far from being confined to museums. Witchcraft beliefs are still about today. In children's games. In superstitions. The horned god symbolized by the horseshoe, touching sacred wood. A new moon, turning money. Effects of the sun, moon and planets on our lives. <laughs> 